What's going on guys? I wanna show you the basics of Git, but with more of a real world example. So I'm gonna assume you know what Git is and that you have it installed. And I'm just gonna show you the basic commands and basic functionality. And again, more of a real world example. So let's say you have a project that you started and you got a nav bar, tons of content, and you decide you wanna start using Git. So in your terminal, you want to be in the root directory of your project and you want to type git init. This will initialize git and start tracking all of your files in your project. And we can always type git status. So let us know what branch we're on. It always starts you on the master branch. Uh, what files are in your project. These are files that we can add to git. And to add a file to git, you would type git add and the name of the file. So we'll say index.html. We'll do git status again. So we have index added, but not our styles file. So what you can also do is git add period. And this will add all the files. So if you had like four or five different files and you knew you wanted to add all of them, you could just do git add period. So now we do git status, both files are added. To commit those files, when you're ready to make a full commit and save your project at a certain point, you do git commit dash m for message, and we'll say create navbar. So that's saved on the master branch. Now, let's say that we want to add a signup form here. So what we could do, we can make a separate branch where we build that signup form. And when we're finished, we can merge that back into our master branch. So to change to different branches in Git, you do git checkout and then the name of that branch. Now we want to create a new branch and check out into that branch. And to do that, you would do git checkout dash b for branch and then the name of the branch. So we'll say sign up form is the name of that branch. So hit that and it says switch to new branch sign up form. And now that we're on the sign up form branch, we can mess with our code. We can add a form. I already have a placeholder here. And we can do all this on this branch without affecting our project on the master branch. So we'll create our form. And once that's created, and we have this beautiful form here. Let's see, we'll want to add those. We'll do a we get status, see on branch sign up form. These are files. We want to add those. Get status again. You don't have to type get status. I'm just kind of showing you. Um, so if those are added, we do get commit dash m add sign up form. Okay, so the sign up form branch is committed and we like where we're at. Now we check out to branch master. We don't have that form anymore because that was on a separate branch. Oh, why isn't this? Okay, just had to refresh it. So yeah, no form because we're on the master branch. Now to merge the a branch into your master branch, you would do git merge and then the name of that branch. So ours was sign up form. And that all just popped back in here, fill it up, and there it is on the master branch. And then if you want to delete that sign up form branch, you would just type git branch d for delete and then the name of the branch. So that was sign up form, deleted branch sign up form. So that's just the basics, but more of a real world example. 
and I hope it just, you know, kind of made it click better for somebody. <laughs> Get it? Click? Oh boy. Okay, I'm gonna go. Thanks for watching.